In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up Google Ads for your cleaning business in 2025. Make sure you stick around and watch the whole entire video because I'm gonna teach you exactly how to set up the correct keywords and how much you should be paying to appear at the top of the page. The four core pillars on creating a great Google ad. The number one mistake that most advertisers make when it comes to Google ads location targeting and the most valuable campaign build out that you'll find on YouTube. There is literally nobody else out there on the YouTube platform that is gonna give you this much value and depth when it comes to setting up Google ads for your cleaning business. So let's just jump straight into the video and get to it. So the very first thing we wanna do is go straight to Google Ads. Now, if we scroll down on this page, we actually see a bunch of different offers. So if we're completely brand new to Google Ads, we can grab one of these, and you can see down here, spend 1,800 with Google Ads in the first 60 days to unlock 1,200 in ad credit. These are unbelievably great deals. So if you're brand new to Google Ads, I suggest getting them. You'd be stupid not to, it's literally just free money. But since I already have a Google Ads account, I'm just gonna tap on start now. Now the first thing we wanna do since we've loaded up Google Ads isn't create the campaign. We wanna find the correct keywords to bid on and see exactly how much other cleaning businesses are paying to appear at the top of the page. This will give us an unfair advantage for when we actually create the campaign because we know what people are looking for and how much people are actually paying to appear at the top of the page. So how you do that is you go to tools and then you go to keyword planner and then you just wanna tap on discover new keywords. So what you wanna do here is just type in what somebody would typically type in to find your business. So for this ad, we're gonna create a house cleaning or commercial cleaning ad. So you can actually see exactly how I'm gonna build it out. Now, if you are a different type of cleaning business like window cleaning, gutter cleaning or pressure cleaning, this exact strategy set up and everything still works for you. So let's just jump right in here and just type in one of our keywords. So we're gonna go with house cleaner near me because that's usually what somebody would type in to find a house cleaner. And to make this as relevant as possible to the area that we service, we're just gonna to go to this area here where it says Australia. For you, it will say whatever country you live in. And we're just gonna make this hyper specific on a certain area. So a certain city that you live next to. This is just to get the most relevant data to your service area. So for this, let's just say it's Melbourne. That's the city that I live in. So we'll tap on include, and then we just wanna get rid of the area where it says our whole country. And now we'll just tap on save. Now, all you need to do now is just tap on get results. So here we are here. If you go across and you tap on average monthly searches, you can actually see the ones that are searched the most. So right here, you've got cleaning services near me at 1300 average monthly searches and you have a top of page bid low range of $3 and a top of page bid high range of $12. You're going to want to remember these numbers because this is exactly how much people are paying to appear at the top of the page. Now, as you can see, I've just pasted in the keyword and you can see the different ads that I've gotten here. So I've got this one here from Absolute Domestics, Family Clean, Gyms Cleaning, and then this one down here from United Home Services. So all these people are paying anywhere from $3.82 to $12 to appear at the top of the page. So this company here will be paying the most when it comes to getting clicks on their ad because Google only charges you when somebody clicks on your ad. It doesn't charge you for the impression. So they're probably paying close to $12. These guys are a little bit lower, a little bit lower, and a little bit lower. So that's exactly what you're paying for when you're paying to appear at the top of the page. Now, if we go back to Google Ads, what we wanna do is just grab all these ones that are relevant to our business. So as you can see, I'm just gonna grab all of these. Now, since I've grabbed all my keywords, we're just going to tap on copy and I'm just gonna paste these over into my notes because we're gonna use these in a minute when we're going to build the actual campaign. But please just remember to take note of the top of the page bid high range. This is the number that we need to remember later on in the video. So for me, on average, it's about $12. What we do now is we actually just start building out our campaign. So we're gonna go over to here where it says campaigns, tap on that and then tap on new campaign. Tap on it again. Now the type of campaign objective that we want is leads because we want people to fill out our form and get a quote or we want people to book in on our website. So typically you wanna go with leads. If you do have a business where people can actually pay and book in on your website, you can put this on sales, but generally speaking, leads is the best way to go for cleaning businesses. Now we need to use these conversion goals to improve leads. You can just add in any of your conversion goals here like phone call leads or anything else that you've got set up. I suggest setting these up after you've set the campaign up and I have a full tutorial linked in the description for conversion tracking setup because you need to know 
how to actually set up conversion tracking for your cleaning business so that you know what's working and what's not working. You need to make sure to do that. But just watch this full video first and set up your first campaign and then you can set up the conversion tracking. Now for the campaign type, we're just doing search because we want to appear when people are searching up for our service. Just like I showed you before in the example when I typed in cleaning services near me, we want to appear when somebody types in that. Now the way that we would want to reach our goal is website visits. So just plug in your website here. You don't need to stress about phone call leads because our website will have our phone number on it as well as the Google ad. And definitely don't worry about lead form submissions. You do not want to use Google's lead form submissions. They suck. They get you a bunch of tire kicker leads and people that just don't answer their phone. So I've just put in Jim's cleaning for this demonstration ad. I'm going to tap on continue. Now for the campaign name, I suggest just naming this what it is. So if it's for house cleaning for residential work, just label it that. But you want to split your ads up with one that goes directly for commercial work and one that goes for residential work. In this ad campaign, I'm going to build you the residential side, but it's the exact same setup either way. You just need to switch the keywords around to which one you're actually bidding on and change the ad copy slightly to fit commercial more than residential if you want to build a commercial Google Ads campaign. So now I've labeled it house cleaning residential. Tap on continue. Now the very first thing that we want to do is change the bidding strategy. Google will try and make you focus on conversions at the start, but if you have no conversion data in your Google Ads account, don't do this because you're going to be wasting ridiculous amount of money to get people to click on your ad because Google doesn't actually know who converts on your websites and your ads yet. So what you wanna do is train Google on your own data. So change this over to maximize clicks and set in a maximum cost per click. Now, if you remember what I showed you beforehand, which is the top of page bid high range, which was around $12. So we're just gonna cap this at $12. Now, this is by far the best way to set up your Google Ads campaign if you don't have any conversion data in your account. But after about 30 conversions, you can actually switch this from clicks to focus on conversions with a cost per conversion goal as well, because you don't wanna let Google just go all willy-nilly and just start bidding ridiculous amounts of money to get clients in the door because it will. That's also why we're setting the maximum cost per click because if we didn't do this, it'd be spending 20 to $30 just to get one click on your ad. And you'd probably be thinking, why on earth is Google just spending ridiculous amounts of money just for somebody to click on my ad? And it's because you haven't set in a maximum cost per click. So now what we want to do is tap on next. We want to remove Google search partners and Google display because they're just a waste of time and a waste of money. It's really hard to track how well these actually do. So if you can't track it, don't spend a bunch of money on it. But what we wanna do now is go down to the location area and you wanna tap on enter another location. Then tap on advanced search and we wanna type in the suburb or town that we service. So let's just go to Chadston and I'm just gonna tap on include. And then you wanna tap on this bit here where it says show all areas. Now you can include everything around where you actually service. This is just the best way to do it because you can increase bids or decrease bids on the actual areas that you're targeting. So just say Camberwell converts a lot better than Chadston, right? More people book in with me in Camberwell than Chadston because Chadston's kind of a cheaper area and they don't really get house cleaners. Where Camberwell, I'm getting a lot of work. So what we'd wanna do is just increase bids in Camberwell and decrease bids in Chadston because obviously we're just going where the work goes. It's not rocket science. If one targeting area is getting you more clients, you wanna be spending more of your ad spend in that area and lowering your ad spend in areas that suck. Now, I do have to tell you there is another way to do targeting as well. It's just the way that I don't suggest, which is going to radius and then just dropping a massive pin. So you can target areas like this. It is quicker, but you need to remember that it's a lot harder to increase and decrease bids and really have that control to really fine tune your ads account to get the best results possible. So I typically suggest not doing that and just going to the show all areas and just targeting per postcode or zip code. It's just a lot better. Now, since this is just a demonstration, I'm not gonna actually target the whole area. We're just gonna leave it as this and tap on save. You need to make sure to listen to the next thing I'm about to say. When it goes to locations, please do not have it on presence or interest. You need to change this over. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting thousands of dollars on people that don't actually live in your area. They're just interested in your area. So make sure to flip this over. I don't know why Google Ads has it auto-selected. It's like the most common problem that everybody has when they're advertising a local business in Google Ads is that they always complain that they're getting leads and jobs from places that they're not actually targeting. So you get people from different states 
different countries, just different areas around you that you don't actually service. So the way to fix that problem is to just have this one selected. If you're enjoying the value that I'm giving you on this video, there's a link in the description to my home service marketing course. It teaches you everything that I know about Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and automating your entire cleaning business. If you wanna check it out, the link's below, but let's just get straight back into the video. So to scroll down here, if you've got multiple different languages, you can put it in here. For EU political ads, just say no, and I don't plan on using this account for it because it's a cleaning ad that has nothing to do with EU political shit. Now tap on audience segments. You can actually increase and decrease bids just like in the location targeting on things that convert better. So if homes and gardens converts better than business services, we can actually increase bids for homes and gardens and decrease bids for business services. So what I recommend doing is just tapping on all of these that are kind of related to our business and just making sure it's on observation, not targeting. We just wanna observe these because after about 90 days worth of advertising, we can actually decrease or increase bids based on which one's working best. Now, once you've done that, just go down to next. I absolutely love AI, but we don't wanna bother with this right now because it's just not that good. So tap on next. Now, keyword and asset generation. We're just gonna generate with this because it makes the bare bones of the ad really quickly, but we are gonna change it around to my particular style that I've found works best. So once it's done this, we wanna actually tap on edit because we wanna actually change it around to what we know works. So let's just get rid of this. So the first thing we wanna do is just change all the keywords, okay? So we'll remove all these keywords and we're gonna paste in the ones that we copied earlier because we know these are the ones that people are actually searching to find cleaning businesses. It's not just random keywords that were on our website. These are literally the most high intent keywords that customers are bidding on to find companies like yours. So what we wanna do is just paste ours in here now. Bang, and there you go. Now, what we wanna do, not right now, but later in this video, so make sure you stick around and watch, but we actually need to change all these keywords from broad match to exact match. The reason why we wanna do this is because Google loves to use broad match keywords and broad match keywords just show your ads to anyone searching something slightly relevant. We wanna be exactly what they search. We don't wanna be DIY related or product related or anything like that. We wanna show up when people are searching our exact terms because we already know there's a large amount of monthly searches for it anyway. So we don't need to stress about having our keywords on broad to get more views. We just need it on exact match because we need the most high intent customers there are. So I'll show you how to change that later on, but let's actually go to creating the ad now. So the four core pillars of creating a killer Google ad. Now these are based around relevancy, a call to action, social proof, and a discount or offer. And for a little bonus one, you can also add in FOMO. But these are the four core pillars that really sell people on clicking on your ad. You wanna be relevant to what they're searching. You want your ad to be telling them exactly what you want them to do, which is get their house cleaned or get a free quote. You wanna have social proof to make them trust you. So over 400 plus five-star Google reviews. And then you wanna have that discount or offer to really sell them on you, which is like $50 off or actually just putting your actual pricing in the ad. So let's just show you how to do that. But first, let's make sure we put in our phone number first. So just add in your phone number here. These are unbelievably great because it just shows at the very bottom of the ad like this. So people can actually click on the ad here to go through onto your website and fill out your form, or they can call you directly from the ad itself. Once you've done that, tap on apply. Now I wouldn't really bother too much about display path. It just adds a little bit extra here. You can put in something like get quote. It doesn't really change much when it comes to getting clients. Now for the first headline, I'm gonna teach you a secret headline, which is probably one of the best ones and one of my favorites, which is you get rid of it and then you tap this little squiggly bracket and you get a keyword insertion. Now we wanna make this title case and we're just gonna type in one of the keywords that people are usually searching to find our business. So I'm just gonna put in home cleaners near me and tap on apply. Now what I also like to do is pin my headlines so I know what's working and what's not working. This is so you can split test your ads later on. How you do that is you just tap on that pin and then you tap on show in only position one or any of the other ones. So what this does is it makes sure that it's always at the very first. Now, as you can see, our ad strength went down from excellent to average. Please don't bother with this metric. The ad strength means absolutely nothing. If anything, if the ad strength is poor, it's most likely gonna perform better than an ad strength that's excellent. I've never seen an excellent ad strength actually do good. The ones that always perform best for many advertisers out there are the ones where you can pin the headlines so you know what people are actually seeing. Now to break this down, what the keyword insertion does is it grabs your keywords up here, so these ones that people searched, and it actually uses that as the first headline. So if somebody types up residential cleaners near me, 
your ad literally uses that as the first headline. You can't be any more relevant to what the searcher is searching. And that relevance is what increases your click-through rate and increases your conversions as well. Now for the other headlines, I like to lead with a call to action second or your pricing. So if you wanted to, you can actually put in your price in second and you can pin it if you want. So if you charge $70 per hour or something like that, you can just put it in here or you could put in one of your flat fees, so your lowest one. So offers from 179, just say that's your flat fee for a three bedroom house, you can have that in here. Because pricing always helps people click on the ad. But if you are a pricier cleaner than other ones, I suggest not leading with price, just leading with call to actions or social proof. Now you can put social proof in the headlines, but I suggest mainly leading with a call to action next. So as you can see, this one looks a little bit nicer. Now let's go down to the descriptions. So in the descriptions, this is really where you can put in everything. So your social proof, your relevancy, your call to actions. I find the descriptions are best for this. So the headline is basically the eye catches to get people to stop and look at your ad. And the descriptions is the area that kind of really sells them on your service over somebody else. So I've just made two little descriptions here and I'm just going to pin them in positions one and two just so you can see them on the ad. So what I did with these is I just made them super relatable and just super trusting. So as you can see here, it's just professional home cleaning across Southeast Melbourne. So I'm just putting in the target location, no contracts, no surprises, 500 plus locals trust us with spotless homes, reliable, friendly cleaners, book yours today. Right. Now, when it comes to Google Ads, everything is related to testing. You just keep split testing different things to see what really works for your ad. But this is a pretty good start to a cleaning ad. Now, what else you can do is you go down to images and you add in images. I personally recommend putting in images of you or your workers because people buy from people. And if they see another photo of one of the workers, they can see one of the people that actually works for your business, which just builds instant trust because you're putting a face to the name. So what we want to do as well is having site links. So you can have links to different areas of your business. So if you do office cleaning, window cleaning, or any of these other different things, you can have links so people can actually click on that directly from your ad. I just remove any ones that aren't really relevant for this ad. So I'd remove mobile car detailing because it's not really relevant for a home cleaning ad. Now in more assets, you can go in here, you can add in promotions. So if you're running discounts, just add them in here and you can add in actual prices. So if you use flat fees, for a lot of your houses, you can actually have that in here. Now, everything else in this little area, I wouldn't really bother with. Even call outs, you can add this in. They're just little extras right at the end of the actual description. So if we tap on highly recommended, as you can see, it just popped up down here. You can add in about four of these. The only good thing about this is it just adds more screen real estate, but that's about it. Now, once we're happy with everything here, and we look at our ad and we go, all right, well, this is a nice ad, I like this. What we do now is we just go down to save and then we tap on next. Now we just wanna set in our budget. The best way to do this is grabbing your maximum cost per click. So for this example, it was $12. And then you times that by 10. So 10 clicks at the maximum cost per click. You're not gonna be spending that much every single click, but this is just a good way to average out your daily spend. So you put this on about $120 a day because most cleaning businesses get around 25 to 30% conversion rate on their websites. So if you get 10 clicks a day, that's three different quotes per day. Now don't stress about this area where it says bidding. It's only giving you a warning sign because you're starting on maximized clicks, not conversions. This is the best way to start out your Google Ads campaign. I suggest just not really listening to it. If you want to listen to it, go for it. But when you start losing a ridiculous amount of money, don't go complain to me about it. <laughs> so what we want to do now is just tap on publish campaign, but we are not done just yet. We still need to change our keywords to exact match because we can't have them on broad match. Otherwise it's going to waste a ridiculous amount of our money. So what we want to do now is go to campaigns, audience keywords and content, tap on that, tap on keywords. And now we want to just tap on this square here, tap on edit change all match types, and then just change all of these to exact match, and then tap on apply. And as you can see, these are all broad match, and they're all gonna change over to exact match. Bang, just like that. Now that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. But if you do want that unfair advantage in your cleaning business, and you wanna learn everything that I can't share for free on YouTube, there's a link in the description by Home Service Marketing Course. It goes through everything in regards to Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and automating your entire business. As you know, I run a cleaning business myself. I even share my ad results and the ads that I'm actually running to get them. So if you're interested, go check it out. But that's it. That's the entire video done. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.